if we want to stop the worst excesses of this vengeful government and start putting the environment and people ahead of profit and greed, then we cannot rely on a Labour Party hewn from the same rock. We, the Green Party, must be the voice defending the environment and the poor. This condemned government, aided and abetted by their friends in the tabloid media, are systematically demonising the disadvantaged and the poor in our society. Atos, if I may use that four-letter word, <laughs> seem to be indiscriminately refusing to admit that thousands of disabled people have any difficulties whatsoever. And they're creating almost as much work for active councillors as is the fear of the looming spectre of the bedroom tax. Nationally, the government congratulate themselves on having two and a half million people out of work and just as many desperately needing to work more hours to get enough money for any sort of a decent standard of living. Now while the Labour Party tell us how they would return us to growth, not one of the bigger parties even mention the increasing gap between rich and poor, let alone having ideas to reverse the trend. We seem to be the only party who is prepared to tackle the inevitable end to a continually rising GDP. We are the only party talking about quality of life and equality. We are the only party with a real vision for the future of our country and our planet. <laughs> We must be the alternative. We must get out there and tell people. And we must win. <laughs> so, as I said at the last conference, ask not what the party can do for you, but ask what you can do for the party. Yeah. It's up to us.